Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Uh, I mean, I mean keyboard. Uh, sorry guys, there's gonna be math in this video. Get out while you still can. Uh, we're gonna be talking about green gems and why you should collect them. So green gems are found mainly in the ruins, and you can find them from mining the Thulacite statues most notably, although they can also be found from breaking ancient pseudoscience stations, breaking relics, breaking piles of gears, opening ornate chests, picking tumbleweeds and don't starve. They can also be found from cave holes and killing the dragonfly and don't starve together. Even with all these sources, green gems are still very rare, as most of these sources do not guarantee a green gem. Their rarity is for a reason, however, as they can be used to duplicate almost any other item in the game through the deconstruction staff and construction amulet. This is possible due to the construction amulet having the cost of any recipe, while the deconstruction staff returns all items from the recipe. This makes any item used in a recipe that takes more than two of that item able to be duplicated, except for gems. So what are the main uses? The most common example of this being a good use for green gems is constructing and deconstructing the Thulacite suit. Using an entire deconstruction staff and construction amulet on Thulacite suits will have a profit of 13 Thulacite. This costs three green gems, however, and since Thulacite is now renewable and doesn't starve together due to the ancient fuel weaver regenerating the ruins upon death, this is a poor use of green gems. This is still a good use in regular Don't Starve, however. A better use for this is on the Glossomer's saddle. Normally, any beefalo taming related item would be effectively worthless, but since the butterfly wing cost is so high on the Glossomer saddle, taking 68 butterfly wings, it can be used for a food farm. This will give you 170 butterfly wings, 3 living logs, and 10 silk of profit per 3 green gems. Another good use for green gems is on scale mail. If you deconstruct scale mail at 1% with the deconstruction staff, you will receive a scale, a full log suit, and 1 pig skin. It only costs a scale, a log suit, and 3 pig skin to craft, making the cost of using scale mail 2 fifths of a green gem, 2 fifths of a living log, and 4 fifths of a nightmare fuel. This is more useful in Don't Starve than it is in Don't Starve Together, due to Don't Starve Scale Mail having 1,800 hit points, and Don't Starve Together's Scale Mail having only 945 hit points. Yet another great use for the Deconstruction Staff is on the Pan Flute. Deconstruct it wherein it has 10% left for the Mandrake back. You can then craft another full Pan Flute and not waste the extremely rare Mandrake. This also shows how valuable a green gem is, and it only takes two-fifths of a green gem to get a full Mandrake back. So in conclusion, these uses, and many more less efficient uses, are why you should hoard these things. Getting as many green gems as you can will benefit you greatly. That's all for today. If you liked the video, you could hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. If you really liked the video, hit the subscribe button. And if you disliked the video, you probably died to spill monkeys on the way to getting these goodies.